hey guys what's up so before you start your civils preparation let me tell you that you will need a lot of load notes for this journey and it will last for two to three years maybe four years five years six years so it is better to start making notes because those students who prepare notes have a much higher chance of clearing this exam than those students who do not make notes like uh, if you are standing outside the exam hall two hours uh, before the exam is about to commence and if you have really really high quality notes then you can revise one concept in one minute and you can revise 120 such concepts and every concept will have 10 facts so you can revise like 1200 con facts and uh, there is very good chance that uh, such facts will be asked in the exam and you might have a edge of two to three questions over the others who do not make notes so it is pertinent it is very essential i can't emphasize on it more that you need to make great notes otherwise it will not be possible for you to crack this exam so let us understand the art of making awesome notes so why it is important to make notes i have already told you because revision is not possible without making awesome notes then we also see how to make crisp notes how to make like really really good high quality notes then how to use it all these are important concepts which we must understand which we must learn how to use these notes how to make crisp notes and what is the importance of note making now the syllabus is really really broad so it is difficult to revise from books so that is why we need to make notes obviously if you are let's say a class 12 biology students and the entire book itself is a notes because you have to remember each and every word so in that case even if you don't make notes you will still get 98 marks 99 marks 100 marks if you have read the books 10 times but in case of UPSC where books are more than 100 it is virtually impossible to carry all the material with you all the time especially in your head so you need some crisp notes where you can revise everything in one go so when it when it comes to broad syllabus it is very difficult to revise from the books and when it comes to diversified uh, sources there will be a lot of newspapers websites etc uh, which you need to consolidate somewhere because obviously you can't cut all the newspapers you can't take screenshots of websites it is stupid now it will help you in consolidation of important information at one place for example you're reading a same topic from two three different sources wikipedia your coaching notes your textbook so each and every one of them will have some uh, additional points let's say you are reading revolt of 1857 so wikipedia has some extra information your textbook has some extra information and your coaching teacher has also told you some extra information your an academy course also has some extra information so making notes is something that will help you in consolidation of all this important information at one place and this will become your one stop solution eventually and this is very easy to read also because if the notes are there at one place and you read from the same source again and again it will become a part of your memory even it will go into your subconscious so even when you have to recall you don't have to actually think about it and it will become very very easy to read recall remember reproduce and uh, regurgitate now how to make crisp notes so always 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 notes are made for yourself please don't take photocopy of uh, notes made by other people you will not be able to understand them and please do not write notes in such a manner that you have to sell it in the bylines of Rajendranagar make notes for yourself only you should be able to understand those notes and no one else just write in point forms no need to write sentences no need to write paragraphs and uh, always try to get all the keywords and important facts regarding it so for example let's talk about any topic let's talk about uh, altitude sickness so in altitude sickness you have to tell that human beings are adopted to live at sea level once we go up the pressure of the oxygen falls and hence it becomes very difficult to breathe so the number of rbc increases plus the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen decreases so it will increase your oxygen delivery and it will compensate for that you might have palpitation you might have anxiety you might even faint and die because of this illness so these are all the keywords and in within 10 seconds you have revised everything which you need to know about altitude sickness how to treat it bring the person down so that is how you have to use keywords important facts don't write uh, random jargon that every year 3000 people have altitude sickness in a Pradesh. that is not needed if content is more like if you think that the keywords cannot work then give reference to the page number of the respective book 
so that you can just open that particular page and read it then draw as many diagrams flow charts boxes as you possibly can because these are the things that you will remember especially if you are putting energy to make them then leave some side space please do not occupy the entire copy while writing or taking uh, uh, like dictation because uh, any new change any recent development any additional information it can, please leave the scope so that it can be added in future as well then uh, use uh, one color pen don't use like 20 different color pens use one pen and uh, okay so even if like maximum two pen but don't use like four five six twenty pens it will help in saving time most of the people are just like changing cap from one pen to another now while you are revising uh, particular notes you can highlight the all the important part even in the notes and uh, if you want to differentiate the subjects you can use sticky notes in between uh, so color coding can also be done uh, please organize it well I was not able to do it I was very lazy I used to write all the notes in one notebook and it created issues later on arrange in one file or one notebook and please keep adding additional information as in when you see on YouTube or Wikipedia or an academy or anywhere now most important thing is if you make it uh, online notes then they are they'll be much better you can use Google Docs you can use Quip you can use Evernote you can use OneNote there are so many notes making software out there even notes app of Apple is also very good so it is accessible all the time you can share over cloud and read it frequently in your free time whenever you are traveling or somewhere try to avoid offline notes and try to get more online notes so thank you for watching this lesson